Hi guys, uh, this is just going to be a real quick video. Um, I just found a, a material that I've used a couple times and I want to share it with you guys. I've got a big sign that I made out of this stuff and I got to ship it off today so I'm, we're going to make this little video and we're going to insert it in one of our newsletters. Uh, this is a laminated board that I use. Um, actually, I just get it down at Lowe's. Uh, get it in different sizes. This particular one was two foot by six foot. Um, and it works out pretty well. You have to be kind of selective when you go through it as far as knots go and that kind of thing. Um, but uh, it works out pretty well and it's pre-laminated so you don't have all of the hassles with uh, gluing and laminating a board. If you want to do that, that's fine, but this is another way to go and it makes nice looking signs. So um, we're going to pan in so you can see exactly what this stuff is. Okay, so here's the, um, the details on this stuff. Again, it comes different sizes. Uh, you can find it, uh, I found it in my local Lowe's. Uh, this particular piece, like I say, was two foot by six foot, and it works out really well. So um, the laminations are good, uh, and it's pretty good material. Most of the time it's pretty flat, and doesn't have any cups to it. Uh, so anyway, we're going to, uh, I'm going to uh, show the sign here in a second so you can see uh, the sign I made out of it. But it works out pretty well for me. Okay guys, here's that, uh, that sign I made for a local fire department here, um, actually here right out of Kingman. Um, and as you can see, it actually makes a really nice sign. It's got some knots in there, but um, most of the knots, uh, as you can see, they're tight knots. There's no nothing really loose there, and that's what you want to be careful of when you select your board. Just make sure there's nothing loose in those knots, and if there is, uh, then you have to, uh, you know, glue them or fill them or something like that. But it's best if you can use uh, a board that's got knots, but it's got really tight knots in it. So um, I just wanted to kind of show this uh, and so you guys can see what can be done with this stuff. It's really a, a fast, easy way to make uh, big signs. So uh, I guess that's about it. We'll insert this into a, a newsletter for you. Okay, uh, you know, Dad mentioned something that uh, you might want to know kind of how I charge for something like this. This is again about two foot by four foot. I got 325 for the sign. Um, uh, six inch letters and three inch letters. They liked the inset letters rather than outset letters. And the board cost me roughly I think around $35. So I really didn't have any labor involved in laminating the board. I just literally had to bring it home, cut it to size, and then uh, do my carving on it. I've got uh, I don't know. I've got maybe uh, four or five hours in this sign, something like that. So that'll give you some kind of an idea of how to uh, price the big stuff. Okay, folks, uh, I'm back. We're just going to add a little bit onto this. Um, here's another sign that I made with that, that laminated board. Um, and so if you've got anything that's uh, wider than a 1x6, then I, I highly recommend using this stuff. This is that same laminated board I just showed you a few minutes ago. Uh, makes a real nice sign. One thing you do have to watch out when you're using this stuff, sometimes you'll get a little bit of a cupping in it. Uh, so just kind of pay attention when you pick up the boards that uh, the boards that you get, don't uh, they're not cupped too much. Um, a little bit you can get away with, but uh, you don't want it cupped very much. So that's just one little uh, thing that you got to watch out for and then knots and that kind of stuff. But it really makes nice looking signs. This is one that I got to ship out of here tomorrow. So I wanted to just put this in there. And then I've got uh, one more here. Now this one is, uh, is one by eight. It is, uh, this isn't that laminated stuff. This is just one by 12 pine. This is the fairly inexpensive pine, or sometimes they call it white wood that you can get at Lowe's or at Home Depot. Um, and this is just a piece of one by 10 that I cut down. It's about eight inches net, I think, 24 inches long. Um, and to be honest, you know, I, for years and years and years, I used nothing but redwood. That's all we used because we liked the dark wood. Actually, I'm kind of changing my mind to the point where now I like the lighter color wood and that seems to be uh, related back to me from our customers that the contrast between the light colored uh, boards and the black ink actually shows up even better and uh, I'm coming around to that. So uh, the pine carves real nice. 
It doesn't carve as well as the cedar does, but it still carves really good if you've got good router bits. So uh, just keep that in mind. This again is a fairly inexpensive board as compared to if you're going to use a, a piece of redwood or something like that. And it makes a great looking sign and everybody seems really happy with them. So I just wanted to do that. Um, and also I wanted to uh, make sure that if you haven't subscribed to our newsletters yet, go on and subscribe so you'll get notified when all this new stuff comes out. Okie doke. Talk to you later.